Hey, Financial Futures family. Welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into all things finance to help you secure a brighter tomorrow. Today, we've got a game-changing update for all you SSI recipients out there. So, grab your favorite beverage, get cozy, and let's jump right into it. First things first, let's clear the air. Today, we're focusing solely on SSI Supplemental Security Income. I know, I know, there's a whole slew of social security benefits out there. But for now, it's all about SSI. Now, SSI is a lifeline for over 8 million individuals across the nation, providing vital support each month. But let's face it, the current maximum benefit of $943 is way below where it needs to be. We're talking below the federal poverty line. And that's just not cutting it. The purpose of this program was, and still is, to uplift people out of poverty, not keep them shackled to it. But fear not, my friends, because change is on the horizon. You heard it right. Lawmakers are finally giving some serious thought to upgrading the SSI program. And guess what? They're eyeing a boost up to $1,255 a month. That's a difference of $312, not $272 as I mistakenly mentioned earlier. My bad. But hey, every dollar counts, right? So, how did we arrive at this figure? Well, it all boils down to the federal poverty line. And with a modest increase this year, it's high time we adjusted those SSI benefits accordingly. Think about it, $312 extra a month means over $3,700 a year. But why the sudden push for change, you ask? Simple. The SSI program has been lagging behind for far too long. It's failing its very purpose of lifting people out of poverty. And that's just not acceptable. So, lawmakers are stepping up to the plate to set things right. And boy, are we glad they are. Now, this isn't just wishful thinking. There's actual legislation on the table, like the SSI Restoration Act, aiming to make this much-needed upgrade a reality. Now let's talk about on another topic. But before we jump into it, if you find value in this video, please take a moment to give it a like. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. Alright, let's get straight into it. Before Biden took office, he campaigned on promises of significant social security reforms. However, despite the looming deadlines and the risk of benefit cuts by 2032 or 2033, not much action has been taken until recently. Looking back at Biden's platform, he proposed some substantial changes, including increases in benefits, adjustments to retirement age, and tax reforms. But it wasn't until his recent State of the Union address that he emphasized the need to protect and strengthen Social Security. Now, why is this important? Well, without reforms, we're facing benefit cuts of up to 25% by the early 2030. That's a huge blow to retirees and future beneficiaries alike. Thankfully, there are proposals on the table to address these issues. Representative John Larson's Social Security 2100 Act aims to provide a 2% across-the-board benefit increase and enhance benefits for low-income seniors. Bernie Sanders' proposal goes even further, offering a $200 monthly increase for all beneficiaries. However, there are concerns about funding these proposals. Biden's plan involves taxing individuals earning over $400,000 annually, but there's debate over its feasibility and potential impact on the economy. So, where do we stand? Do we trust Biden to deliver on his promises before the end of his term? Or do we believe someone else, like Donald Trump, might handle Social Security reform better? It's a crucial decision that will impact millions of Americans. That's all for today's video, folks. I hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. 
If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy.